following program brought to you by the Grill Master. Welcome to the show, Backyard Grilling with the Grill Master. This is my backyard, and I am the Grill Master. Today's featured sponsor, Pilgrim's Chicken, great sponsor of the show. So, we're going to be doing some pretty nice little fall weather kind of recipes. It's kind of warm, but some of them are a little fun, some are a little easy. One's going to take a little bit more time, but uh, so we have to get things ready as we need them, you know, for the length of cooking. And uh, but today we're going to be doing some. Uh, chicken chimichangas on the grill and then we're going to be doing a chicken pot pie on the grill and then I'm going to be doing some potato grenades. Yeah, you're going to like that. Anyway, thank you all for tuning in. We're going to start the show first and with the potato grenades because it's like the baked potatoes that take a while to cook. So we're going to get those done and get them on the grill. All right. And the way we're going to start this, it's pretty simple. It is have a just a regular potato and then we got an apple core here and might get a little messy not too much but the way you start off is just start your core just like that and then just hold it as straight as that potato straight as you can and then just hammer that out and then you, once it gets to the end turn it just a little bit and then you pull it out swap just like that now you're saying, well, what is that? Okay, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take some, I've, I've got some uh, boar's head products here. I've got a little bit of honey ham and some uh, some uh, roast beef, a little bit of uh, chipotle chicken. I've got a couple of different cheeses. I have a little bit of uh, green onions. And all it is, is we're gonna take this, we're gonna roll them up, and we're gonna stuff this potato on in here. And then once we get that in there, all in there, then we'll just take this, and we'll take a, cut a piece of it off, cut it, with my knife. Just cut a little bit off, not that long. And then we're going to stuff this back in there just like that. It looks like a grain. Pretty cool. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. I got another one here just so you can kind of get the idea of how it works. And the way it works is like I said, just you'll start that core, you know, just as far as you can. Now, you can try to get it in all the way on your own like that, but I just think it's because you got to hold this potato pretty straight with your core so it doesn't because you might veer off and then it'll be coming out the side so you just kind of hold it as straight as you can and just bang it in there a little bit just turn it a little bit and then just pull it out just like that pretty cool and that's where we're going to be putting all our our stuff in there and like I said get these here and just set them aside just like that and then, like, for example, we got some uh, boar's head maple honey ham here. And then just need a few slices, because, you know, you, unless you're gonna do them all the same, but just need a few slices, and, and like this one here, we're just gonna cut it in half. Get this now here. We're just gonna cut it in half, and all you do is just roll it. Just roll it, just, just like that. See there? Then you can just, potato. You're gonna kind of have to hold it pretty tight. Look at that. Can't even get it. Came apart on me, but it's all right. Get it in there, and then just get it. And you want to stuff it in there. You know, you don't want to leave anything out because you want to make sure it's full. That stuffing in there is full. It broke apart on me, but that's okay. You just get your finger, and then you roll this little piece up, and just finish putting it in there. It's not that big of a deal. That's the fun part of it. It's pretty neat, you know. See? So now it's full of stuff in there. And then I'm just gonna get your end here and just put it in there. And that's pretty cool. Now, just a big old chunk of boar's head pepper jack cheese. Just one thick slab like this. And then all we're gonna do is just 
cut it just like that got a little cheese stick there and cut that one in half and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that cheese in there and then we're gonna put that one half of that ham in there again just take your little end here cut that piece off and there you go just like that Isn't that pretty cool now on one of these you can not on one of them but on any of them or all of them or whatever or some of them uh, I've got some uh, sliced bacon here now just to let you know all these ingredients here the boar's head sliced uh, meats and this bacon just go down there 502 go to the deli talk to Luis or all the crew out there on that deli side and you can get all the all these ingredients right here um, you can take this uh, bacon and then just wrap it around that potato just like that now what we're gonna do here oops, my grenades gonna blow ah, is we're gonna take this piece of foil and we're gonna wrap them up Just like that. So this one here, I just got to have some uh, just regular American cheese, yellow. Just going to take a little chunk and drop it in there. This is some uh, chipotle chicken. I'll just get this rolled up. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of these green onions here and then just pour some down in there in, in that little hole just like that cool beans cool beans that's how it goes then you just take that chicken and then just stuff it in there push it in there just a little bit then you take your end get it in there and then like I said just take your bacon you know you can just top it off if you want to just like this you know you can just wrap it however you'd like you know I just just something a little extra flavor there that that bacon will give and then just again just take a little piece of foil take a piece of foil there and roll it up and remember which end that uh bill is at that way that on that end you just kind of roll it roll it up just ball it up like that and this other end you can just then you can fold it in that way you'll know which side is there and just throw these on the grill, we'll be ready to go. Okay, now we're gonna do our chicken pot pie in a Dutch oven. We got a little little bit of prep to do before. And one thing is I've got my cast iron skillet over here. And I got about a third of a cup of butter. I'm gonna melt it in there, let it melt. And uh, what I've done, I took some boneless skinless chicken breast and I grilled them. Now, by this beforehand, I had them grilled and so uh, you know, if you don't want to grill it, I guess you could just buy like maybe a rotisserie chicken or something they sell there at the deli and cut it up after it's cooled down or, or what have you. But um, either way, uh, you can grill that. I, I like grilling it. Just gives it that flavor. Plus, another thing we, I've done is I took my Dutch oven that I'm going to cook it in and I took uh, uh, some pie crust, rolled up pie crust unrolled it and I put it in the bottom of that of that Dutch oven and that just and I put it in the grill and let it cook it kind of not all the way through but got it where it was you know lightly browned and uh, and, uh, and you can tell you can tell where it's uh, getting cooked uh, like I said just lightly brown anyway uh, I took it off and then so what we're gonna do now this butter's melting here we're gonna take some uh, chopped onions white chopped onions. I'm going to put some in here. And then what I've done is I took a small package of uh, carrots, baby carrots, <clears throat> and then just cut them up. So we're going to put some of these in here. And then I took about three stalks of celery, or two, two, two stalks of celery. And all I did was I, I 
cut it in the middle and then just chopped it where it's a half moon time. We're going to put some of this in here. Not too much of the celery. Uh, the celery is just for a little bit of a crunch. So, and what we're going to do is we're going to let them saute. It won't take long, maybe about five to eight minutes or so. And uh, then once they get soft, then we'll add the chicken. And I've got some uh, Food Club brand, absolutely, they're Market Street. Uh, some green peas, just frozen green peas, and I thawed them out. And so, you know, once this these uh, veggies have uh, sautéed a little bit, we're gonna put, we're gonna add the peas, we're gonna add the chicken, we're gonna season it with some salt and pepper, and then we're gonna add about a third of a cup of flour, white flour, and let it let it cook just a little bit. Um, and you, you know, you can adjust the flour either or. Uh, but we're gonna add that flour, and then we're gonna add some uh, whipping cream. Uh, about a third of a cup is normal. You can use milk, doesn't matter. Uh, you can use some heavy cream if you'd like. Um, you know, all that is just gonna make that the, the sauce inside that uh, uh, chicken pot pie. And then we're gonna take some chicken broth and add to it until we get the right consistency. And then we're gonna let it cook down so it'll thicken. So uh, these uh, veggies will saute here in a minute. So our veggies are pretty sauteed now and we don't want to cook them too much because remember they're still going to be inside that pot you know with the pie and I mean getting that with the chicken and all the all the other ingredients we're going to put it on the grill to finish cooking and uh, and get our, our top uh, cover with of our dough cooked also. So the first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and season it with some salt and uh, a little bit of black pepper coarse ground obviously I like it a lot. Anyway, um, another thing is some celery seed. Oh, about a quarter of a teaspoon. Not, not too much, just a little bit. And uh, stir that up a little bit. Get that seasoning in there with all these little veggies. Uh, because the, the chicken now, all I did was salt it before I grilled it. I just put some salt on it. I didn't put anything, on, anything else on it. Because uh, all the flavor is going to be in here. Uh, so like I said, it, this is about three, three chicken breasts cut up, cube size. And then we're going to take, I'm not going to put the whole bag of peas. You know, in my experience, and I hope most of you out there uh, are like me, it's just by sight. You know, that's, that's how I... <clears throat> can uh, can measure by sight. I'm just, you know, I, like I said, with my experience and 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 so on and so forth. So, um, you know, like my mom would say, "Mira, me junto tanto así, about that much." It's just, you know, that's how I was taught, and so that's how I've I've, I've learned to to measure is just by sight. And, uh, so, but if you don't, you know, uh, that's about a Oh, half a cup to three quarters of a cup of peas, you know, and about, you know, half a bag of that, of those baby carrots. Now, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that flour. That's about, a, like I said, oh, a third of a cup of flour. And I'm going to add just a little bit first. And... Uh, Kind of stir it in a little bit. Uh, you know, get the rest of it. I'm gonna stir that in just a little bit. Then we're going to take that whipping cream, like I said, about a third of a cup. And again, you can use, you can use regular cream, I mean, uh, heavy cream, sorry about that, heavy cream, uh, or regular milk, that's what I was talking, that's what I meant. Uh, either or, either this whipping cream or, or a heavy cream or just regular milk, it's whatever your desire is. Uh, 
I like heavy cream, uh, but for this for this particular uh, recipe, I'm using whipping cream, and then we're gonna add some chicken broth. Get that little shake there. Then once we get this, we're going to let it cook for just a little bit and uh, let that uh, sauce thicken up. And once we get that, then we're going to take all this and like I said earlier, I took that uh, pie crust and then just put it on the bottom of my Dutch oven and kind of cooked it a little bit. You can tell it's kind of a little brownish. And uh, then we're going to, then all this mixture we'll put in there and then we'll take our other uh, pie crust and put it on top. And, and let it cook. Once we get it in the grill, it, that Dutch oven will be open and uh, we'll let it cook till it's golden brown and the uh, inside of this sauce is bubbly inside. So, and make sure that when we put when you put the that pie crust on the on the top, put a little a few slits with your knife in there so that that way it doesn't uh, puff up. Just like bologna when you fry it in a pan, you put some slits in that bologna so it doesn't make a dome. I learned that when I was a little boy. All right, so our, our mix as well is cooked well, and we're, all we're gonna do is just put it in our Dutch oven here. Man, I tell you what, I can't wait. Ooh, smell of vision, taste of vision. I might have cooked just a little bit too much, but that's all right. It's not gonna make that big of a deal. I can cook that. Uh, get my knife, like I said, and just put a few sl slits in there for that steam to escape. And then you're gonna take this and just put it in there. Set it down just like that. And then we're gonna put it on the grill. We're gonna get a chimichangas going. Our potatoes are almost done. I checked on there. Our pot pie's cooking. Now we're gonna get our chimichangas on. And what I got is I got a small cast iron skillet here. I got it on high heat first. And we're gonna put about a cup and a half <clears throat> of some thick and chunky salsa. Food Club brand. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're gonna take some of this. What I did is I, I took some uh, boneless, skinless, chicken thighs and I marinated them in the Stubbs green chili sauce. I love that. That's really good. It's, it really is. It's really good. And I, I grilled them after I, you know, I marinated them, then I grilled them. And then I got them out and I've cut them up in little chunks. So we're going to add some of this chicken here to our thick and chunky salsa. That's good right there. And then uh, we're going to take about a, a teaspoon, a, a teaspoon and a half of ground cumin. And then we're going to take about a teaspoon of dried oregano. And then we're going to take some onions, onion, rusty Dina. When I started, when I moved to West Texas, I started working up there in Post Texas. And there was a gentleman there, his name was Rusty Dean. Now he rest in peace, a great man. And uh, you know, he could see, that's how he'd say, so he'd get onions, get some onions. So we'd be cooking some chili there during winter time at the yard. And he'd say, make sure you put some onions in there. Okay, Rusty. Anyway, we're gonna put a little bit, a little bit of onions <laughs> in there. And uh, then we're gonna take a little bit of salt, do a little seasoning to it. Mostly for the veggie part, because, like I said, the chicken's already uh, seasoned and, and cooked. So we're going to stir this just up a little. Stir up. Can't even talk. We're going to stir this up just a little bit. But we want it warm. 
and like I said, those onions will uh, they'll they'll soften up. And uh, what we're gonna do is once we get this stirred up, we're gonna let it cook just for a little bit, for that uh, thick and chunky salsa to thin down just a little bit. And then once that happens, then we're gonna take some of this, scoop it out, and we're gonna put it in our tortilla and fold our tortilla up. Throw it on the grill. I mean, that's pretty simple. It's not that hard. Uh, but, uh, and it's gonna be very flavorful. Now, we're gonna add a little cheese on that too. And once we put our mixer in here, we're gonna get some of this shredded cheese here, Food Club brand, United Supermarket. Yeah. Market Street, 502, 50th in Indiana. Come down there and see me. on Saturdays yeah that's good enough right there it doesn't take long like I said it's just just enough to get it warmed up and get that uh, salsa incorporated in there with everything so we'll t turn that off and then we'll just like I said we're gonna take the spoon and then just spoon this a little bit in here And you'll take your tortilla and you know keep them at, I mean have them at room temperature so they fold well and I hope these don't break open you'll fold them in hand and fold them in this way and then you'll take your ends and then just fold them in like this oh, I forgot the cheese luckily they're not zip tied all right now just get these babies and then we're gonna take them and just put them on the grill just like that all right there you have it folks we've got our chicken pot pie in our Dutch oven uh, I will say you know that, that top uh, layer there I left it open for it to cook well so it the, the crust didn't it cooked but it didn't brown as much but you know if you want you can put your lid on it put some hot coals on top and that'll really brown your you know the the, the crust there but again it's you know it's cooked it's not raw it's cooked and so uh, just doesn't have the color that we're looking for, but that's okay. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Uh, we've got our potato grenades. Now on these here, there's a couple of different ways you can serve them. You can just get it, and then we'll just cut it in half. This is the one with the pepper jack cheese in it. Or we can take it and then just slice it this way. And serve little circles they kind of fall apart because they're so well done but you know what I'm saying you can do it like that also if you'd like uh, once to, it's served they, it's not that big of a deal that you know they don't have to be perfect but uh, anyway it's got the cheese in it and the, so and then we got our chimichangas you know that again this doesn't take long uh, once you get it folded up and everything you're just gonna put it on the grill just to get the tortilla uh, you know uh, toasty on both sides and you know, got a hot fire so but that's okay it's not gonna hurt anything I guarantee you. and then you can serve with a little lettuce tomato and some sour cream and they'll be ready to go so I hope you enjoyed the show thank you all very much I greatly appreciate it thanks to all the sponsors from the family United and United Market Street and Amigos and uh, also uh, Pilgrim's Chicken our featured sponsor today and Farmland Pork and Cargill Genuine Texas Beef uh, we've got uh, Cactus Creek Firewood, and you know, down there on 1585, four miles east of the Tohoka Highway. Got Jared and Flint Hand Company down here on 34th and Flint. You can get my recipe book there also, or you can come see me at Market Street 502 where I work. And thanks to Market Street 502, you know, they 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 do everything for the show, and I greatly greatly appreciate Rusty and and all the crew down there. You know, go by and tell them thank you. Tell them the Grill Master sent you. 
Don't forget also All Seasons Property Care. And they've, uh, you know, for all your yard work and your Christmas lighting and tree pruning and all that good stuff, they're the professionals there. Give them a call, they'll take care of you. Also, uh, McCormick's Seasoning and Stubbs uh, Barbecue, great sponsors of the show, and our new sponsor, FirePitOutdoors.com. Don't forget, I hope you've gone by there and checked out those. Uh, all the products they have and there for you know falls around we are you know getting our cold weather in here so you know it's exciting you can get a little fire going there on your patio in the evenings all nice and warm and toasty but other than that i tell you what folks thank you all very much i greatly appreciate it uh, to all the fans keep coming by saying hi i'll take pictures i'll sign autographs just whatever you know come by and see me wherever you see me do not hesitate to come by and say hi you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a nice guy, really. So, but anyway, I guess for today, I'm gonna try these little chimichangas here. Woo! Mira, and as my dad would say, shh, listo. Potato grenades. Incoming! Backyard Grilling with the Grill Master, brought to you by these proud sponsors.